Hi, I'm going to explain how you can take a TFT color monitor that was designed for viewing through the back of a car to add as a, uh, a backup video and how to use it uh, connect it to a Raspberry Pi and use it for a computer monitor uh, rather than a backup monitor. The main thing to understand about this is that the uh, color monitor is originally designed to be connected to a 12 volt battery on a car. And it doesn't really matter whether the 12 volts is coming from the car or it's coming from a wall socket. So really all you need to do is to work out how you can get 12 volts uh, coming from a wall socket. The easiest way to do that is simply uh, use a 12 volt um, converter and these you probably uh, have one hanging around the house uh, but you have to be sure it's a 12 volt one and not something else. So um, anyway, the uh, what this shows you how to do and I'm going to use this uh, uh, picture up here uh, to see that is it's really soldering two wires together and the trick is is to get the right wires. Now on the monitor uh, there are three wires with uh, slightly bare leads. There's a blue one, a red one, and the black one. We're only going to be using the red one and the black one. Uh, the blue one I'll call a, an auxiliary um, connection uh, it was designed to go to the backup light on your uh, car and there is a way that you can use it for switching back and forth between AV1 and AV2 but uh, what I'd like to do is just show you how to use the red one and the black one and you can uh, your uh, video monitor will work on AV1. Uh, what I did, I didn't happen to have a 12 volt adapter, so I went down to Radio Shack and I got a uh, 12 volt DC power adapter. Uh, it goes from AC to DC power. Uh, and that's what you need, the 12 volt is the key thing here. If you use one of your old ones and it's not 12 volts, you could cause some problems. So anyway, if you don't have a 12 volt one hanging around the house, go down to Radio Shack or someplace like that. I guess in England it would be Mapen and um, is it RS in Germany and any kind of place that would have a um, where you can get your um, power adapter. You can get them online too, of course. Okay, so um, once you have your power adapter, the one the particular one I got had a connector, uh, had a female connector, and it had uh, two little uh, ports, one for positive and one for negative. Now they have something else they got to make it a lot easier uh, for this. It was called an adapter plug. And the adapter plug is a male connector with uh, two bare wires, uh, one that is positive and one that's negative. So all you have to do is to um, plug the adapter plug into the uh, female connector uh, coming out of the uh, 12 volt adapter and then solder the positive wire to the red wire coming out of the monitor and the black wire to the uh, negative uh, coming out, the black, black to black. And the red one, the way you can tell which one is uh, positive is that one of the two wires coming out of the adapter plug has a white line down the center of it. That is your positive and you want to connect that to the red one. Uh, the red wire coming out of your uh, monitor. The blue one we're not going to use, so you don't have to worry about that. I just uh, looped it around and uh, wrapped some electrical tape around it. Uh, you, uh, once you solder the uh, red to the positive wire on the adapter plug uh, and the black one to the black wire on the adapter plug, you're good to go. So you can just plug it in the wall and uh, then the, the turn on the monitor and then plug in the uh, RCA jack into the video port on your Raspberry Pi and it works just fine. Uh, the You can see here uh, one that's all plugged in and, and working. It's very inexpensive, very inexpensive solution 
uh, to getting a monitor for Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can use something that was designed for one thing. Uh, it's about 30 bucks. You can find it at Amazon or someplace like that. Nice thing to have, easy to use with the Raspberry Pi.